It's been 650 days since the CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves have played a game at the Thunder Bowl. Tonight, that changed. The Pac welcoming, welcoming in no slouch to the Steel City as the fifth ranked at Texas A&M Commerce Lions, ready for some revenge after their loss to CSUP in 2019 at home. College football back in Pueblo. What a sight to see. The fans jacked up for this one. Pick it up the first. Thunderwolves making their way into Lions territory. Gunnar Lamphere with the quarterback keeper. Would it be enough? CSUP settling for a field goal. Good to note Lamphere would leave this game with an injury in his non-throwing shoulder and wouldn't return. After a field goal to tie the game at three, the Lions kicking off. DJ Penick can't handle the ball and Commerce would pounce on it and recover. A theme of the first half as he'd be tied at six at the break. In the second half, Devin Williams in for Lamphere. He's taken down by Celestine Haba. A defensive battle for sure tonight. Now in the fourth, Lions up 12 to 6. Another QB change for the pack. Stephen Crowell letting it find, finding Nigel Mitchell here for the big pickup. Check out that. Crowell continues to hit his targets in the final minutes of the game. But the Thunderwolves offense would never get going. A total of 155 total yards. This razzle dazzle play at the end. Not working on the final play. Lions going to win 12 to 6. Head coach John Riston saying there's a lot stacked against this team in this game. First game, 650 days, speed of the game. I thought our defense played outstanding. Offensively, we, we struggled to because we were self-inflicted and had penalties and all that stuff that happened. So, but this game doesn't define who we are. We've got a long season ahead of us and we're looking forward to it.